Hey, Brian from Graphical Hall. Today I have this Aqua Multifunctional Vacuum Gravel Cleaner. It's an AQ0103. And uh, I have my 55 gallon corner tank back here um, that I neglect it more than I should, but something like this will help me get it back in shape pretty quick. So I'll show you some basic configurations, how to set it up, uh, what you can do with it. But opening it up, so you have the the main pieces that are sitting right here. Let me just flap this back behind me. So these are the main pieces that you're getting. So you get a bunch of different vacuum attachments. This brush works great, especially if you're going over some plants. You get some like the algae and all that debris off that. Uh, this is kind of more like a ground gravel. Clearing it, you're tapping them on the top of that. And then this one is usually my favorite because you can get the, uh, you have a bag here that can catch a lot of debris for you. And then you have this basically, you know, to go into your gravel. And it's got that little filter on it to help uh, the stones and stuff from getting stuck up top. Uh, you can stop the flow of water because sometimes the suction is really great and you get this clogged up with stones. Uh, however, let me just uh, put some different sections together. And okay, so you've got there. a couple configurations here. So one is you have your locking cap and you want to slide that down your power cord. And then you're going to have your handle that's basically blank on both ends, just to kind of give you an idea. And then you want to push the cord up through there. And then you're going to have your other clip, which is basically not clip, it's your screw down piece, your locking cap. It's going to go through there. So it'll give you kind of an idea that's going to kind of like sit loosely on here we get everything down and then you are going to bring your cord up through the top and then that's where you connect your power cord and again you look for that little divot on the top so you have the right orientation and then we put these two pieces together and then it has that little locking cap there and it does have a sealed o-ring to kind of prevent water from getting in there obviously don't submerge that but just use that. So now we have basically this kind of configuration. And we're going to put this together one piece at a time. So we're going to bring up this cap right up here. We're going to kind of loosely lock that in. Then we're going to bring our handle piece up. Then we're going to push that down until it basically bottoms out. Then we're going to tighten that down. Then we're going to get the other side wire through the handle and then once we have that this end of the handle gets put in through here and you can adjust it I don't need that much left so I'm going to collapse the handle quite a bit because I don't need like super long left on that Again, this is your gravel cleaner Now there's a couple things you can do. You have you have an exit hose that you're basically putting on here. So you can vacuum and dump everything as you go. So basically you attach this hose onto this end, and then you put your other end into a uh, like a five gallon bucket, and that way you can basically change your water nice and easy. Then you have your second configuration where you're going to attach this to here. And then you have basically kind of like an on off valve here. And then we're going to be putting that bag on the end of this. That way it's going to catch the debris and put the water back into the aquarium. So we're actually not changing the water. We're just basically collecting all like the debris that's like floating around in there. So again, this is that sock. It's gonna catch all your debris. And you're gonna be basically putting it over this spray bar. Like so. So as this runs, it's gonna create the suction, it goes up, and it's gonna put the water back in a tank, but it's gonna collect all your little debris and stuff that you can put out. So that way you don't have to do like a massive water change while you're vacuuming. You can kind of take your time and go through. And
what we can do is change this attachment. Oh, okay, sometimes it gets in there pretty tight. Then we're gonna use this attachment. And we're gonna basically brush all the leaves off of everything. And you can control your water flow on how fast it's going out by basically adjusting this. So we're gonna turn it probably about halfway. Uh, we're gonna brush over our plants, get a lot of that debris off, and then we go from there. So uh, hang on, let me plug it in, get it going. And then have your on off switch right here. And it's basically, basically submerging it. And you can kind of see how it starts coming through. And then let's, uh, let's start vacuuming. Tell there's a lot of debris in here that I just have not gotten around to cleaning. I travel a lot, I say that in all my videos, but and then while you're going through, so you can see how the water pours out, and you can get each leaf. And try not to let the water get out of the aquarium like I just did. And we got these little guys down here. Like I said, this is a great way to clean all your debris out without actually having to, uh, to lose all your water in your tank and do a massive water change. Okay, so let's turn that off. Let's let that drain out real quick. You can tell from this sock, you know, you got a, quite a bit of debris already in there. So, kind of hard to see, but. So, we're actually going to put that back on. As I drip into a bucket, I'm going to take out this little brush head. And then we're going to use the gravel cleaner. And same thing, we are going to adjust this valve so it's not going full force. Let's turn this on. See all the water's dripping out. I'm gonna get this this pocket of debris down here, and I'm just kind of like floating it above the gravel, so not to suck up any any stones or anything. Okay, so that's working pretty good. Now, if we want to do a more of an aggressive clean, just sit and flip there for a quick second. All right, let's get this little sponge piece out. sponge will help to flow the stones and stuff so we're not catching everything sucking everything away empty that out into my hand real quick 
Got a little baby Amazon sword floating around over there. Put that up there. Pull this back out. So connect that nozzle in. And again, now be careful because you can clog this up really quick. It won't let any big stones go through, but there is that possibility. So we're going to turn it back on. And then this is going to help get a lot more debris. We're just going to like, again, just float it over the top. Get a lot of these big sediment, big green pieces floating around in here. Let me just switch my view, make sure we got a good camera angle. But again, you get all this big debris. Step back a little bit so you can see that. See how it's really sucking all that stuff up. Down to the other side over here. Like I said, the long reach handle. So you can really get that corner really good. You get all that debris floating up. This way you can kind of like swoop through the plants. Get all that stuff that's kind of like floating in there. Give you an idea on how well this works. Let's turn this off. So this thing is completely full. So you can see all that dirt and debris. Let me just let some more water drip out. Okay. But that is like super full. So I'm going to actually go open this up and get a good angle at it. So you can see how much debris is in there. So I'm going to be right back, rinse this out. All right, so I got that nice and clean and rinsed out really good. So we can bring this back up. Get that on again. Turn that back on, get the water flowing, and we can go back to getting those little algae debris fields all sucked up. Like I said, you can do with the stones too. Just kind of like put it on top. And you got to adjust your vacuum so you're not sucking the stones all the way up. And again, this little adjustment knob that's right here, I mean, does a great job. this suction bar squeeze some water out of that we're just going to put that off on the side and then we are going to use our hose and this is where you want to put this back in so you're not sucking up lot all at once and then this is going to be your hose that goes into your five gallon tank at the bottom and we are going to turn this on and then you'll be able to see the water level drop and how much suction this gets and then I'm just going to be kind of do more of a vacuum job here. I'm not trying to be 
too much all at once. Doing a pretty good job. Alright, so that end's clogged up a little bit, so we're going to turn this off. I'm going to let that debris fall down. Right, so we're going to take that foam piece out. this little attachment put right on the bottom put that towards the bottom try to keep my uh, my war going in the bucket here at the drain, get to move it around, get to move the water debris. sit there for a second and I basically strain that hose out So basically, in that short of time, I can't really show you the bucket without dumping it over, but you'll be able to see, I mean, I pulled out five gallons of water into my bucket and in a short amount of time, cleaned a lot of debris out. Obviously, there's a lot more cleaning to be done, but uh, my little wave maker is making a lot of noise back here, so we're gonna just aim, aim and angle that down so it's not so noisy for the rest of the video. But anyway, uh, what a great vacuum set. You can do a lot with it. There's other attachments too. But uh, right from Garage Mahal, thanks for watching and be safe and clean out there.